But there aren't many places you can look up and feel the expanse, feel the inspiration, and then look up at that wonderful mural overlooking the center of the main reading room. 160 feet from floor to the crown of the domed ceiling, where the painting by Edwin Blashfield looks down on the readers. That figure that's removing the veil of ignorance uh, from human understanding. That's an American invention. That's not a classical statue, but it's sort of classical for what a reading room is all about. That veil is getting lifted, and it happens in an atmosphere of inspiration, and that at the same time demands a lot of perspiration to get through to those books. There's a particular design element in the main reading room, and it's the sight line from the visitor's gallery to the cupola. You can't see the mural that's in the top of the cupola if you're in the visitor's gallery. And you're only privileged to see her if you're in the reading room down below, uh, engaged in active research. You're not privileged to see her if you're just a visitor. On the collar of the dome, a ring of 12 seated figures, representing 12 civilizations. America is represented as an engineer, with his hand under his chin, trying to solve a problem of mechanics. It is no coincidence that the figure resembles Abraham Lincoln. The effect of that mural is actually to say, well, we in America, thank you very much, all past civilizations, but basically, the future is ours, as we, we thank you, but we're looking ahead. There is a very elaborate system of ornamentation in the vaults of the ceiling. You've got the seasons. You've got muses. You have uh, senses. You have a series on um, knowledge and understanding and wisdom. Uh, you have figures representing um, uh, uh, performing arts. And here, beside all this elaborate artwork, an indication that this building is also about America and it's coming of age. The main thing all the way through, there are symbols of the great printers of the world. They're the ciphers and symbols that, of, of their imprints. One side uh, uh, is all American uh, printers. So you've got Doubleday and Lippincott and Harper's to show once again that America is taking its place in the world of letters. <laughs>